So we're now going to focus in on one particular kind of volume, one particular kind of shape. And these will be volumes of what are called rotated solids. And the basic idea is that we have a function f of x, and we rotate it around an axis. So right now we'll just rotate around the x-axis. And then we get this very strange, elegant, curved shape. And you might think, for example, of the way that a potter would form a vase on a potter's wheel. And just think of the curve of the side of the vase as the function. Then the volume would be the total vase formed by all the clay enclosed by that. And so this, these are the volumes we'll be finding now. And to begin, we'll, we're going to use something called disk method which is a specific case of finding volumes of known cross sections. Because here, if we integrate along this axis, integrate along the x-axis, the known cross sections are just circles. Circles or disks. The reason we call it disk method is because it's really as if we're slicing the whole shape into a bunch of little disks. And each little disk here is going to have a thickness dx and so what we'd really just need is the area of that disk, which is pi r squared times dx. That would be our little differential volume, and that is what we're going to integrate. And so in the next video, I will actually show a calculation using disk method.